My name is Maggie James. I'm a senior music therapist at the Queensland Children's Hospital. I graduated in 2002 with graduate diploma in music therapy and then in 2014 with Master of Business Administration. My job as a paediatric intensive care music therapist is to provide music to increase children's alertness and also address their early acute recovery. Working in palliative care is not easy, but it's definitely my passion. Paediatric palliative care is basically where we're no longer able to save human's life. It is not focusing about treatment recovery, but actually focusing on treatment to maximise a child's quality of life. It can be as simple as eating ice cream, or playing with the siblings, or having cuddles with the parents before unfortunately they have to say the last goodbye. And I love that about my job, it's that music is a very naturally positive, joyful, calming thing. And um, when I walk into our patient's room, I often feel that calmness and patients and families want us to be there to make the last memory. And we know that from brain research that when a person is passing away, the auditory processing is still happening. So they can hear that music and we know that there's still that positive effect that we are offering to our patients. It's definitely very challenging because your role is to facilitate saying goodbye. So with these children, our journey with them could be very long. And so you really establish that emotional relationship with them. And so when you say goodbye, it is very, very tough. And I think I, what I found the hardest is actually watching parents saying goodbye to their little ones. Um, it, it's so emotionally taxing on therapists. So what, like one of my little routine or rituals that I do after a child's passing is I usually stop and actually take myself out to a more natural environment of the hospital, have a cuppa and actually just pause and actually reflect and reminisce on all the good times of what I had with this family. That's very important to me because it gives me energy and also it gives me hope that, you know, unfortunately we had to say goodbye but music therapy got to bring hope into this family and into this very sad situation. So one of my favourite moments as a music therapist was to witness a little girl who woke up from her unconscious state uh, during music. So she was a six-year-old little girl who unfortunately was involved in a car accident so she had a severe head injury. She was unconscious for a few months and within those few months um, my role is to go in every week to sing a range of songs to her and including her favourite song Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And one day uh, when I was singing to, uh, to her, we noticed her fingers start flicking. And the more that I kept singing, mum started joining in to sing as well. And we noticed her face starting to look different, her mouth starting to move. And then the more that we look at her mouth, we noticed that she actually mouthing some of the words. And so I started to slow down the music. And eventually I stopped singing at the last verse uh, of the song and then she actually sung the last word and that was the beginning of her recovery. I love stories like that because we got to witness the power of music and um, families got to enjoy it and yeah it's really the first step of many happy memories for this family then.